Hello, welcome. My name is Manuel from Qatar Studios. Today we're going to learn how to make an image text and button reveal like so. Okay, now we're going to do this with Elementor Pro and I'm going to show you every single thing you need to know. Okay, so as you can see, it can apply to text, it can apply to a section, it can apply to a button, it can apply anywhere in this uh, builder. Okay, so without wasting much of our time, let's just get into it. So we'll be applying this particular effect, not that particular one, a different one to this particular image. And to do that, select on the image, you'll be provided with a code in the description of this uh, video, okay, in YouTube. So go copy that code. And what you need to do is to head over to advanced, scroll down to you find the CSS, custom CSS. If you're not using Elementor Pro, you will be finding this option. So click and paste your code right here. So this is the default code, as you can see from here. We have the clip mark on polygon. Polygon means it's pulling from uh, the top to the bottom or from the bottom to the top, depending on how you make that respond. So we are going to save this. But before we save it, make sure you go to motion effect and make this enable at least one of the effects from here. So usually I like to choose fading. So we click on save and we're going to try out our work and see how it feels from the front end. So scroll down to get to that section and let's refresh now. So just watch closely, see it, we have it fading from the top to the bottom, but what if we want it to fade from the left to the right hand side? So that's where we need to get into this website. This website will also be made available in the link in the description of this video, bennettsphilly.com slash flippy. So this is where, what, where you'll be landed to when you get to that website. So this little thing beneath here is the codes that we'll be copying based on the effect we choose to use from here. So since we want that effect to transition from the left to the right hand side we have to pull this to the edge here pull this other one to the edge pull this also to the edge like so make sure they are equal to the each other if you want it to slide from top to bottom you have to pull them to the bottom i hope you get the point now so when we are done with that get back to this code area copy this little code snippet then we are going to modify the one we already created very simple there is no big deal in this so open the css class also Let's zoom in very closely. So this is what you need to replace. This one from here, the one under the selector, clip path polygon, and it ends at this point. So click option and you control V, paste it. That's all. Okay. So now we have pasted it. We click on save again. And now when we get into our, our page and we refresh again, you're going to see the effect from now. Perfect. So you want to do it from the left, you know what to do. You move all these things to the left. You want to do it from top to bottom, you know what to do. You want it to transition from the top to the bottom diagonal, you know what to do. This is how to do diagonal uh, transition. You want it to tran transition diagonal left to right, you still know what to do from here. Okay, I think this yellow is going the wrong way. This yellow should be here, and this blue should be here, and this red should be here. So you want it to be diagonal, right? You know what to do from here. Am I making too many? Uh, okay, fine. So this is how to make it diagonal from the top side to the bottom part. But you know what we did from here? We did it to fade in from left. So once you make that diagonal, whatever side, just play around with what you have from here. Go back here, copy the code you have available, go to your CSS area and replace it with the one available. But the main code is the one that comes with selector and ends at the percentage rate. That's number one. Number two, we want to slow this down a little. We want to slow it down. You can make it to two seconds. This is where you slow you down from that area. Sorry about that. This is where you slow you down from this area. So we can make it 1.5 seconds or two seconds from here. So make it clear this and make it two seconds. It's okay. For me, I would like to make it 1.5 seconds. So when we save it now, we have transition a little bit slower than it was. Okay. So when we refresh this now, we have the transition a little bit slower than it was. You get the point. So usually this happens when you are scrolling from the top to the bottom part. It makes more sense like so. For instance, we're scrolling from the top to the bottom part. You see? Very nice transition. And you can apply that to text. For instance, we want to apply it to the text. We want to apply uh, the one that's... Uh, okay, let's just apply this. Let's go back to this part. Copy this code. Control A copy and we apply it to the text over here go to advanced css and we paste the code from here so the same thing applies to this text if you want to apply it to this one you do the same thing if you want to apply it to as many 
elements, you can do it, do it. Even the button here, you can apply to the button, but that's no, I don't think that's uh, design wise. So once we are done saving the work, we go back to this part and we refresh our work again. So you get the point. So this is simply how to do it. Once again, my name is Mario Fakata Studios. Do have a wonderful day till we meet again.